Hopefully we have a baby. Nope. But last night I could. <laughs> Super early, like at eight o'clock, because we were so tired. We had a little photo shoot for her. We had some family come over. We hung out at Dave and Buster's. It was our first outing. We didn't really take her out of her car seat, but it was okay. Now we're just dealing with her feeding and her sleeping. So we've been following what people suggest. Everyone says if she's sleeping, to just go ahead and sleep with her. So that's why we went to bed at eight o'clock. Now it's almost 11 p.m. and she's super hungry. So I'm hoping to give her good feeding and hopefully she sleeps through the night or even up until maybe five or six o'clock. I hand her off because I'm not the greatest at burping. But her mom is, so hopefully she burps. We have to have her burp, otherwise we cannot put her down. She scared us last, a few days ago. Um, she threw up like chunks, like chunky chunks, like cottage cheese chunks. And it was a lot, and it freaked us out. It was an emergency room visit. <laughs> he took Our it to the one. doctor. We did. At the emergency room, though. If it was up to me, she would have went to the emergency room. But cooler heads prevailed, and we ended up getting an appointment. So we just took her to the regular doctor. It's 1 a.m. We've been up from 10. What did I say? It was almost 11. 10.30 when she woke up? Yeah. It's 1 a.m., you guys. And she's still not passed out. She's getting there, though. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're taking off your beans. <gasps> Ooh! Um, the reason why she threw up those chunks, according to the doctor, was because I was overfeeding her, and I'm only breastfeeding. But look at her, she's like starving. She's already been on the boob for 25 minutes. So, I'm just gonna give her a little bit more. Here, I'll give her the left boob. Yeah. Okay, okay. It is now 3 a.m. She woke up at 10.30. We've changed her diaper. We fed her three times. Burped her. She's probably fell asleep at least two times. Two two times for like 10 minutes. Woke back up. For today, I think she's out. Oh, yes. Oh, I think she's out. Seriously, like out, out. Yeah, I think. No. Oh, shit.
things on the scene. And I hope so. I just want her to sleep for like, even if it's just two hours, an hour, I'll take that. I just need some kind of sleep. I'm so tired. <laughs> guys, it is 9 a.m. She finally went to bed around 3.30, so she slept for five and a half hours. But I'm still exhausted. I'm outside. <laughs> five hours ain't nothing. I'm so sleepy. Like, I got you, little mama. Living her best life over there. Living her best life. It's time for church. Honestly, I don't know if I'd make it to the full service. I'm so tired. I'd probably fall asleep. I know. We gotta try. I love this little girl. I can't believe we have a baby. Nope. But last night I could. <laughs> We were awake. Who gave you to us, man? God. Keep it that. And maybe when she wakes up at night, how often is she getting up more often at night still? Yeah, so at night she's definitely waking up. Um, so, okay, so the pattern was last night she fell asleep around 8 o'clock. So we fell asleep at 8 o'clock. She woke up at 10 p.m., uh -huh. And then she did not go back to sleep until, oh, what was it, around 3.34? So she was bright, she was wide awake. She was wide time. awake, yeah. And she okay. was going in and out of sleep, but she would not stay asleep for more than 10 minutes. Okay. So I'm sure what's going on is that when that happens, you guys are picking her up and, and carrying her around. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's going to backfire. So Okay. Adina, so... so so this, I call it the witching hour. So most babies have two periods. They did the, they did the work at Stanford actually, where they look at waking behavior of babies. Okay. And most babies have two periods where they just fuss. They're up and they're crying. Okay? okay. We don't we don't know why that is. We know what their brain activity is like, but we don't know exactly what it is that does this. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, yours is is that time of night. So. When she wakes up at 10, I would give her a good feeding, okay, and okay. then put her down. When she wakes up, and she's waking up, and she's screaming her head off, okay, and she's waking. So if you pick her up and carry her, then what you're doing is you're taking a brain that is, in a sense, already overstimulated, and they can't regulate that, and you're stimulating them more, even though when you carry them and rock them and do all this, it temporarily quiets them. It's actually, it's actually backfiring. It's overstimulating them. Okay. Okay. okay, so this is the hard part. So what you do is, if, if, if she's had a feeding and it's not at least three hours, we can stretch her out at night. She can go three, three and a half hours a night easily. Okay, okay. so if it's, if, it's, if it's not that three hour mark and her diaper's nice and dry and she's just crying, you know, you'll, you'll hear and you'll read just to let them cry it out, just to leave them alone. I, I just can't do it, not, not when they're this little. Okay, okay. so what I do is... Um, put her in a nice tight wrap they like that you know remember where she's been for nine months so right. put her in the tight wrap where she's bound really snugly right lay her on her back in a quiet dimly lit room it doesn't have to be in your room while you're going through this mm -hmm. and you guys can take turns so put her in a quiet dimly lit room and what i do is i go over there about every three or four minutes okay mm -hmm. touch her face with your hand so that she feels your hand and she smells it mm -hmm. and talk to her so she hears your voice okay okay so you touch her face, you talk to her for about for about 15 or 30 seconds. Okay, so okay. Not, and not, not even 30 seconds, 15, 20. So you touch her face, you talk to her, she knows you're there, but you're not there very long. Mm -hmm. You walk away, Dina, she's going to have a fit. She's going to scream and cry. 
wait another four minutes, go over there, do the same thing, touch her face, talk to her 20 seconds or so, walk away. So you go over there about every three or four minutes and you briefly touch her face and talk to her, but do not pick her up. Okay. okay? And, and you can try putting a pacifier in your mouth once, but if she spits it out, just leave it out. Okay. okay? okay. If she cries for 15 minutes, okay, mm-hmm. then, then you pick her up and you carry her and talk to her. But then after five minutes, you put her down again, whether she's crying or not. Okay. 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 And when you put her down, she's going to start crying. Okay. So you go through this, you go through this cycle. You every, you go over there every three or four minutes, touch her for 15 seconds, talk to her. If she cries for 15 minutes, pick her up for five minutes. And then after five minutes, you put her down again, no matter what. Okay. 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 So this can take two or three days, but what ha- and you can do this during the daytime too. Okay. okay, because what babies learn more quickly than you'd ever imagine is that if, if she cries and she automatically gets picked up and carried, then as soon as she's not being carried and rocked and you put her down, they learn to cry right. and they learn that pattern. Okay? Right. okay. And she's, and she's not crying because she's afraid to be by herself. They just learn the pattern that if I cry, I get picked up and carried, which of course babies love. Right. And, and, and life is all about, you know, loving our babies and hugging them and, Kissing them and carrying them, that's what life is about, but not in this situation because it'll backfire. Okay. And and when she's not crying, pick her up and snuggle with her all you want. But when but when it's time for her to go down and she's just having a fit or, you know, let's say you feed her and then an hour later she's doing the same thing, you go through the same process. And what'll happen and it takes a few days, three days or so, mm-hmm. but they know that you're there. Okay, you're not you're not just leaving them alone to cry that they you're there every three or four minutes. They and they feel you they know you're there but they but they learn that they're not gonna be picked up and carried in response to crying. Because the alternative to this is if you pick her up every time she cries is is I will guarantee you a hundred percent that in two months you literally won't be able to put her down. And then what happens is these are kids that, that are actually afraid to not be carried. You know, I'm sure you have friends with like a two-year-old, and if the mom walks out of the room, the the, the, the child is frantic. Absolutely, just, yeah. Yeah, they're panicked. Believe it or not, it starts now. You want her to have that safe and secure feeling Okay. that even if she's not physically touching you, that you're still there, okay? And and they don't volunteer for this. This is part of this is part of her getting that. And like I said, carry her a lot and a snuggle and do it, but not in response to when she cries. Got it. Got it. Got okay. It. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we're gonna try this because apparently it does start now. It starts in infancy. This morning, actually, when we were um, finished with church, mm-hmm. I laid her down. She was awake, and. <clears throat> I just kind of like let her lay there with the pacifier in her mouth, and she she was crying a little bit. She was grunting like she normally does, you know. Yeah. And then she just ended up falling asleep, thankfully, because I was not gonna wake up. <laughs> that girl was gonna be on her own anyway. <laughs> so it's one twelve. We're having our breakfast, some <laughs> coffee and some fun. We just gave her boob. Look at her seat. I'm not picking you up. No. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna leave her there, chill, and just. Just gonna let her soothe herself to sleep. Leave her alone. Until next time, Leslie Bam. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends, and we'll keep you updated with Little Miss Dang back there. We'll see you guys next week for the next video.